These eye measurements that I have regularly been taking proves that my vision has improved. Welcome on me, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be sharing step by step in improving your vision using end myopia. Now, if you haven't heard of end myopia, I have briefly touched upon it in my video, which I will link somewhere up here. Also, I'll link it down below as well, so you can just click on that and watch that first before you watch this, because you do need to know what end myopia is and what they, you know, what's their method. It's all about natural vision improvement, by the way, and it's something that I totally believe in because I've been adopting some of those practices, I guess. I won't be using any big fancy terminologies. I'm going to stick to basic words so that many people can understand how to naturally improve their vision just by doing these steps. Also, I forgot to say watch till the end of the video because I have five great tips that will help you throughout this journey and obviously this is for only people who are serious, who are dedicated and who are patient enough to make these a natural vision improvement because they are not quick fixes they do take time because it's natural I've been doing some extra things on the side to improve my eye health but I can't say for sure that it's been working like the castor oil that most of you might know me for well that I only put it sometimes every night before I go to bed and I need to do this more consistently I've also been taking these gummies and it has like the good nutritious stuff for your eyes and also this as well I've been taking these um, capsules and they're jam-packed with good nutritious stuff for your eyes quick review on this I won't be taking um, the fish oil anymore I will be taking these this has Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C, B1, B2, B3, B6, folic acid, B12, pan pantothenic acid, uh, magnesium, iron, zinc, copper, m manganese, uh, selenium, sil okay, let's not even bother. Cro a cron cronium and iodine so yeah it's jam-packed with great nutritious stuff for your eyes and the reason why I'm not taking these fish oil anymore is because every time I take it I feel like it's getting stuck in my throat and it's happened like four or five times now where I just feel like it wasn't going down and I don't want to choke and die on these so for that reason instead of taking uh, fish oil as supplements I will be taking them like organically but I will be taking these um, yeah so just to help the maintenance of good eye health and I think once these are finished I won't be bothering with this anymore this is my second box by the way so I did finish like two whole packet of these fish oils um, daring myself every single time but that's not good and that's not safe so these capsules and the gummies that I've been taking and once this finishes I won't be taking it anymore and um, the castor oil I just don't think they're the reason why my vision has improved naturally and finally after actually taking measurements consistently I've noticed a pattern I've noticed when my eyes are actually improving these eye measurements that I have regularly been taking proves that my vision has improved the very first measurement that I took was in November 2018 and as you can see different times of the day gave me different results because of the lighting so do be aware of that and I will go more into detail about that later on but for now just understand that I was able to read 17 centimeters away in my left eye and 15 centimeters away in my right. The higher the number the better the result because it means that I'm able to read further away. If I flip over as you can see I did log all of these results and look at this isn't with the sunshine so hence why they've been really high. And now we are in March. This was with sunshine here, so I'm not going to show you that result. It was actually really good, obviously, because it's with sunshine. Um, but in March, the latest result I got for my left eye was uh, 21 centimeters and 18 centimeters. Now, because of recent situation, that's why my vision has gone down s uh, slightly. Um, but before the isolation, look at it. I was able to read 23 centimeters away in my left eye and 18 centimeters away in 
my right like that's amazing right like for the first time in my life I've actually been able to improve my vision and not make it worse so clearly what I'm doing is going the right direction I've come up with five great steps for you guys and they they're very brief but they highlight the main key points that you need to be aware of if you want to improve your eyesight naturally and there's more detailed videos about it and obviously as usual I will link all the links down below and make sure to subscribe and like and if you have any suggestion recommendations um, then please do leave a comment down below and yeah so let's begin so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to know your prescription why do you need to know your prescription because you need to obviously know how bad your eyes are so that you know what's your starting point and how many diopters do you want to improve on so Again, I use the word diopters, so I'm going to explain myself. So diopters is basically the strength of your prescription, the strength of your lens. So obviously we all wear glasses, and these glasses, um, some are stronger than others because there's more um, power in the lens, and that, that power, to measure that power, is called diopters. So obviously to know the strength of your lens, you need to obviously get your prescription, so then you can make those improvements, right? Okay, so, and also obviously visit your optician to get that prescription. So step two is to get yourself two pairs of glasses. The first pair is going to be from your opticians. This is going to be your strong glasses. I'm going to call them strong glasses. The technical term is normalized. And this is going to be your weak glasses. I'm going to call it weak glasses for the sake of the video, but this is like my close-up uh, differential glasses that's what it's known the technical term for that and the second pair is going to be the one that you order online so okay so I get my glasses from select specs so this is where I get from so all you need to do is click on the top link click on three lines click in glasses click on women's glasses and as an example, I'll just pick this one and then choose your lenses and then yeah, so then so yeah, this is for like short sighted people who can't see things from far away. Um, so what you can do actually, instead of buying your glasses from the opticians, you can actually order them online by clicking on the distance glasses. This is for people who need it for reading obviously so near sight far sighted people and we are going to get the intermediate one which is for close up work and yes yeah, so we're going to add our prescription so at this point what we're going to do we're going to get our prescription make copy everything as it is when you're feeling down on your luck you're tired and stuck enough is enough you gotta pick yourself up because life gets hard it might leave scars could tear you apart if you let it be smart yeah you want to be just like the stars take me to mars high up and far because that's a start uh all i know is that i love making art straight to my heart keep up my guard and always work hard yeah it's hard to have faith when you add a taste of this awful place and if that's the case you're sitting there sick and tired of the rap race the fast pace as you're thinking this a bad Place. You just want to blast off in the outer space I get it, trust me, I've been there, just wait it gets better. And then here, you don't touch anything And obviously, as you can see, we haven't changed anything So that's the prescription, the same as the actual prescription Now, what I've done, I've only reduced minus 0.25 So now it becomes 9.75 for my Sophia in the right eye And then obviously for here, I would also reduce minus one uh, minus 0 0.25 the same thing so it become minus 7.75 uh, 7 okay so we've reduced um both lenses f with a 0 0.25 and that's it and then you just go ahead um you don't touch the mm, pd just keep it on average that's what i do it works perfectly fine and then click on the tick boxes confirm and then purchase done if you know me then you know that i'm only working on my right eye at the moment so because it's at a minus 10 i'm only reducing my right eye so you so you don't have to reduce both at the same time um only because i want to equalize so i want to get my minus 10 to a minus 8 before i start reducing both of my lenses so first i want to get my right sorted out get it at the same level as my left and then start reducing both of them so yeah 
So you can do that, that's called a, I think, monocular something drop. I'm going to talk about the strong glasses first. You will only use this for things that, like, let's say for driving, when you need to see things far away, like crystal clear. So like when you're out and about, you know, you'd use your strong glasses to see things that are in the distance clear. Your second pair will be for your close up work. So whenever you do like, whenever you're like reading a book, um whenever you're on your phone i don't know why i need to show you that but i did so yeah whenever you're doing your close-up work just um you use these bad boys the weak pairs um so yeah so you need two pairs of glasses strong weak um you use your strong glasses for far away weak glasses for close-up work Hope that made sense step three is to practice 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 for four months and the things that you need to practice are active focus spend two hours outside reduce your screen time or your close-up uh, try monitoring them so that it'll motivate you to reduce your screen time or any close-up work also practice print pushing practice the 20 20 20 rule that i always talk about step number four is after four months of practicing practicing and practicing the good habits that I just mentioned in step three it is now finally time to measure your own eyesight so all you need to measure your own eyesight is a book and a measuring tape so you just pick a page so any text get the measuring tape pull it out and I already know that my that my right eye is 18 centimeters so and then I'll squint my left and just measure it against my eyes but usually what I do, I'll pull it back a bit and then I'll just squint my left and then keep pushing until I see a clear text, a clear image. So, and then once the, Im once the text gets clear, that is your point. So that is the point where you stop and you take down the note. So at 18 centimeters in my right eye, I know that that is the point where the text is clear for me, I can read it. And if I was to increase that to 19 centimeters, I wouldn't be able to read it as clearly as I can at 18 centimeters. So I would note down the 18 centimeters. And it's ever so important to make sure that you take your measurements at the same time time of the day at the same place and once a month if you do measure your eyes in bright sunlight um let me show you an example of what happens you get amazing results but they're not realistic and you you're going to just be basically faking the results in my right eye you can see i actually increased to 20 centimeters before um the text gets blurred and in my left eye it's actually 26 centimeters before the text gets blurry but normally in my right eye it's 17 centimeters and in my left eye it's normally 20 21 centimeters so that's just that was taken in august 2019 so yeah you can see there's a big difference and um, when you take the results in bright daylight um, in sunshine and when there is no sunshine so make sure you are aware of the the daylight so step number five is to keep repeating the reduced lens method practice the good habits and after one year go back to your opticians take an eye test and just for self confirmation or for a greater satisfaction you'll get results from the opticians and you'll be able to see for the first time that you've improved or haven't changed anything so at least you'll know then after a whole year of practicing and adopting the good habits if you have made it this far I will finally share six amazing tips that I have and will definitely help you along this journey tip number one is to use the end myopia calculator it's a great way to find out the strength of your lens so if you just go onto your phone okay Google end myopia calculator There you have it, so you just fill in your current prescription, the edge of blur, so you've seen that mine was 18 centimeters for my right eye, and then it would give me the value of whether I am overly prescribed or underly prescribed. The second great tip is to make sure that you don't put your new weak glasses on straight away, so every time you get your weak glasses, make sure you're not putting them on straight away, make sure you are spending a whole day without any glasses, and then when you desperately want your vision to be crystal clear, 
and then pop on your new Greek glasses and that will really help adjust your eyes to quickly get used to the, the lower lens. The next great tip is to track your screen time, track your close-up. You can use an alarm clock, you can use a stopwatch, you can also just set an alarm on your phone. Okay, so the app that I use to track my screen time is called Quality Time and I'm just going to show you how to download that. So there's quality time. You just go into Play Store. Got nothing to lose, so I put the pen to bed. That's what I do. Hard work always lasts, and the pain's not an act. The way it hurts real bad, but you have to attack what you want to attract, or you're gonna look back and regret what you lack. Uh, everybody knows it's a fact. Yeah, I just want my words to impact. Yeah, I just want my words to last. Yeah, not sorry if I put you on blast. Listen to the facts. Got nothing to lose, so I put the pen to bed. That's what I do. Hard work always lasts, and the pain's not an act. The way it hurts real bad, but you have to attack what you want to attract, or you're gonna look back and regret what you lack. Uh, everybody knows. There you have it, and I think if you click on that, it'll show you how many times you you've unlocked your phone. So app usage. Um, there is a map somewhere. Oh, there it is. So if you, there you go. You can see your daily usage for that, and there's your weekly usage. And yeah, it's fantastic. You can literally track yourself. The next tip is if you can't go outside at all then look outside your window and try to look for as long as possible. Probably try putting some music in that might help you focus and pass more time rather than just looking outside for a short period of time. The next tip is to try measuring your eyes at least every once a month. That will help motivate you because if you notice any improvements before the four months like that's a real motivation and it will really motivate you. It'll really push you to, to improving your vision and reaching that 2020 vision that we all really want. The next great tip is to make sure that you're having your vitamins, you're having your nutrients to maintain a healthy eye. That is all for today's video. I hope you benefited. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if I missed anything out, then please do let me know in the comment section. So yeah, for now, stay indoors, stay well, and peace. That's what I do. Hard work always lasts, and the pain's not an act. The way hurts real bad, but you have to attack what you want to attract, or you're gonna look back and regret what you lack. Uh, everybody knows it's a fact. Yeah, I just want my words to impact. Yeah, I just want my words to all last. Yeah, not. Sorry if I put you on